Hello and welcome to the Spartan Newsroom. I'm Nicholas Tomeko. And I'm Kaylee Garrison with news updates for today, January 16th. School systems all throughout LA are having difficulty getting kids to attend school due to the teachers' strikes taking place. Over 30,000 teachers are currently on strike due to the lack of pay and large class sizes. United Teachers Los Angeles said over-testing and racial justice have become issues as well. This is due to a demographic shift. While many white people are shifting to private schools, the public schools are solely becoming low income. While substitutes are showing up to schools, a lot of families, including the Lewis family, feel their children staying home and working with their parents will benefit them better for the time being. The partial government shutdown is impacting the U.S. government more than previously expected. More than 800,000 federal workers are working without pay, including TSA, the FBI, and the Coast Guard. The Council of Economic Advisors said economic growth is cut by 13 percentage points every week. The government shutdown began December 22nd and is not expected to open until both parties and President Trump come to an agreement on the border wall. It appears William Barr is one day closer to being confirmed as the United States' next Attorney General. Day one of the confirmation hearing saw Barr directly stating that Robert Mueller is not involved in any sort of witch hunt. That focus narrowing on day two where the question seemed to be whether or not Barr would allow the Russian probe of the 2016 election to continue. Despite Barr previously doubting Mueller's theories, he has since stated that he won't interfere. The Republican nominated Senate expected to confirm Barr by the end of January. Prime Minister of the United Kingdom Theresa May faces a no-confidence vote following the rejection of her plan to leave the European Union. Parliament rejected the deal in a 432 to 202 vote, the largest defeat ever for a sitting British government. Jeremy Corbyn of the Labour Party tabled a no-confidence vote that May will face January 16th at 7 p.m. The UK has 72 days to ratify a new Brexit plan or risk leaving the EU with no deal at all. The UK can also cancel Article 50 of the Brexit process to remain in the EU. The Special Olympics Winter Games kicked off at the Bittersweet Ski Resort in Osago, Michigan on Tuesday. Over 200 athletes from southwestern Michigan competed in several events including snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, snowboarding, and downhill skiing. Winners from the events will advance to the state winter games at the end of January in Traverse City. That's all for this edition of the Spartan Newsroom. For more news, visit the Spartan Newsroom website or tune in to MSU TV channel 18.1 on campus. I'm Nick Tomeko. And I'm Keely Garrison. Have a great day.